Welcome to the GE MDS video training series. In this video, I will show you how to configure the Orbit MCR serial ports to enable the hardware flow control feature. I'll first begin with some general information about the three modes the Orbit uses, and then I'll dive right into the web and CLI configuration. When hardware flow control is disabled, there is no serial flow control done on the port. When enabled, the Orbit MCR supports three modes to control the serial port lines. They are DCE, CTS key, and CTS key plus. Each of these modes configures the Orbit's RTS and CTS lines to operate in a slightly different way. With hardware flow control enabled, there are new serial parameters to configure named CTS delay and CTS hold. In DCE mode, CTS delay will delay the assertion of the CTS line after RTS is asserted. In CTS key mode, CTS delay will delay the data from being sent after CTS is asserted. CTS hold is a parameter to configure the time to hold CTS asserted after data is finished transmitting. These parameters are configured in milliseconds. Also, the COM1 and COM2 serial ports both support hardware flow control, and each can be configured to a different hardware device mode. Let's look at the web interface first to configure this feature. Log in as the administrator and navigate to the serial port you wish to modify. This can be found by clicking Services, Serial, Basic Config, and then the port you wish to modify. The parameter on this page called HW Flow Control enables the feature and opens up the ability to modify the additional parameter HW Device Mode, which controls the CTS Delay and CTS Hold parameters. When you are satisfied with your configuration, press the Save button, then OK to apply the configuration. On the CLI, Log in as the administrator and enter configuration mode by typing configure. Then enter the command set services serial ports, the name of your port, hw-flow-control, hw-device-mode, the device mode, and then set the appropriate values for CTS delay and CTS hold, depending on the mode you selected. When you are finished, press Enter to finish the command and then type Commit to apply the changes. I hope this video was helpful for you. For additional information, please visit our website at www.gemds.com.